every month had a theme of colors. Right. And June was rainbow. And I was like, oh, that works. Cool. Right. Is your dog LGBTQ plus? Uh, yeah. What? He humps every animal <laughs> he can find. So, yeah. <laughs> What's up? How you doing? Great. How are you? Hey, I was going to well, say good, but I good? fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're off to a great start. Yes. Um, hello, everyone. This is Good Sounds. Welcome to the podcast no, no, with Mark no. and Mink. Mark's here. I'm here. We got Mark. We got Connor. Brody's dead again. He, he went into the... He died again. Went upside down. Yeah. So he might be back. He might not be. Yeah, Who so. knows? He's probably going to be back. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes you just got to... Take a little time to do your thing. And you got to. Life finds a way. Yeah, it happens. All the fucking Jurassic Park quotes. Yeah. Everything. I've spared no expense. Nothing. I, I get it. Yeah. That's from the movie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, music. Yes. So music wise, uh, you had a concert. I did. That is that is that correct? Yep. So what? how did that go? It went great. Give me your... So... I'm going to personally apologize on camera and on microphone because I was not there. Mm. But I will say, I was. this is probably one of maybe two shows yeah. I think I have not hit. Yeah. Of all the rest yeah. of them, You've I got. You've been to all of them. I've been to all, yeah. the rest. I respect it. So if you want to, you know, drill me, you can. No, it's fine. Okay, gotcha. I just thought we were best friends, but it's fine. Right. I mean, it's... I, get, I got a lot of friends, Mark. Oh, yeah. And you're, you're up there. You're up. You're on. The, you're on the top shelf of friends. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, I didn't. It's cool. You know. It's fine. I was also ingesting alcohol. Yeah. And it was a. If you. If I would have driven to your set, I might not have gotten home. You're safe. being a responsible alcoholic. So, Thank you're you. Right. Exactly. If I'm gonna, you know, be a degenerate, I want to be a degenerate with yeah. rules. Yeah. So. That's fine. No. <laughs> gotcha. No, it's totally fine. But Thank yeah, you. it was also in stamps in Tonawanda, yes. and I was in Buffalo. Yeah, no, so makes it's, sense. Yeah, I have There's these are all my excuses. Shows. I have There's I have a plenty list. Plenty more shows to go to. Some some would say. Yeah. But okay, so give me give me the the skinny. The, so isn't that the long skinny? Is that it was was that the, give me a story, like tell me what happened? Like that's what the old detectives or whatever. Give me the yeah, the long skinny. Is. is that what that was? Is that what it is? I don't, that's why I'm asking. I was a scoop. Give me the scoop. Yeah, that's more of a old newspaper editor. Yeah, what's her. the scoop, eh? What's the scoop? These new mics, too. Yeah, oh, yeah we got new mics. We got new mics. I don't know if anyone has noticed the I audio quality improvement. so sexy. But that's what <laughs> I would say so. Yeah. But th th with the, uh, when we, what's the scoop? These are very yeah. what's the scoop esque they microphones. Are. They are. You're yeah. right. So, <laughs> but yes. Yeah, the show. Concert. Um, it went great. Awesome. Um, awesome. Good to hear. It always does at stamps. It's always fun. Always There's always time. quite a few characters there. A uh, bunch of different types of subgenres of hip hop and stuff like that. Um, but uh, for me, it went very well because I was playing new music. Oh. Because my new mixtape just came out the other day. Oh, yeah. What's it called? The Aquarius 2. What? Where can I find it? You can find it on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, uh, Amazon Music, uh, some other ones. Deezer. Deezer. Yeah, probably. shout out. To, can we get sponsored by Deezer, you think? I would love that. That would be... I want to get sponsored by, like, I don't want to say low grade, but lower tiered yeah. music streaming platforms. Yeah, why that, not? That'd be so fun. That'd be amazing. Let I'd us know. It. Yeah. If you We're want. Here for you. We have, yeah, we have the space. Yeah. In our minds, in our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But yeah, um, it was really cool. I had Aquarius 2, pl playing some songs playing from that. Playing some songs from that. So what is it? Give me your set list experience and like, well, okay. Oh, no, no. Let's just, let's, let's take the audience through the night. Let's just, okay. how, how about that? How do you think? Okay. Yeah. So get when did you get there? I got there at 6. 6 p.m. P.m. And then the, when did you go on? 9, 10. Okay. So, I mean, that's not terrible. No, but, not too bad. So, getting there, how did everyone, you know, when people come in, who was there? Give me the, so, give me the scoop. If you're, if you're new to a stamp show, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, what you should know is that it always says they start at seven, but they never start at seven. <laughs> um, half the pe- and I always just as a respect thing show up at six because mm-hmm. they tell you in the email to do that. Right. Um, very professional. I'm always the very first person there <laughs> at least for 45 minutes yeah. by myself and you're on time in my own time. Yeah. Like on time at six. Yeah. You're like, I, I got it. Yeah. I the one time I showed up at six and the dude wasn't even there yet <laughs> to take my stuff. I was like, Oh, <laughs> I'll just wait. <laughs> um, I'll just, I'll be over here. I'll yeah, be in the corner yeah. over here. guys. Yeah, Literally. But, um, everyone started showing up around seven. Uh, it's, we had a pretty good crowd come in. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. The only thing was this time, the people that came for certain people, they all kind of left after that certain person. Mm. Whereas like before, or like past shows I played, you know, they kind of all stay and stuff. But I right. noticed for this one, uh, it was a lot of new faces performing and yep. their crowd uh, left right when they left. So mm. it is what it is. You go to see a person. It doesn't right. matter. Um, but, uh, it's like the, the cross pollination yeah, wasn't really happening. Yeah, yet. not too much. But that's like half the fun of those shows. Is it's is, like yeah. seeing what else is there and like, I like to the see different what else people. Is there. Yeah. Um, and uh, the rising talent. I got you know? quite a few people to pay attention to me. Well, mm. I like kind of forced everyone to get close to the stage because no yeah. one was doing it. Um, well, so give me your when did you so getting on? How was like getting on stage and like. Well, give me your oh story God. of how you Actually, wrestled the crowd. This is funny. Um, Good. Because I this changed podcast, my so. intro up a little bit where I had like uh, my song Monday. Okay. I have that part where there's like an old timey radio host mm-hmm. and he says like, please welcome. Well, he says Nate Spanish. Right. But I cut Nate's name out and I put in mine from mm-hmm. the end of the song. And it flowed great. Mm-hmm. Um, and you did that the day of, or was that like you were just prepping and you were like, I, oh, I can't. I yeah. was prepping. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Um, so I had that and I I went up to give my flash drive to DJ Nightlight. Shout out DJ Nightlight. Shout out. Fucking cool. We can go over that yeah. dilemma if you want the last time too. That yeah. was so fun. Yeah. Oh my God. Because I want to know what your, what went through your head. There. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Go, ho- um, go for it. So... Um, I handed him the flash drive and I was like, okay, <laughs> he's like, do you want to go on now? He's like, you got another seven minutes. And I was like, uh, not exactly right now. Like, give me like two minutes. And I was like, but you don't have to call me back up. I was like, just like my intro is really long. So like, just play it. And mm-hmm. then I'll walk upstairs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he did. That's so cool, though. And I was like, it's going to be so cool. And I walked off stage. I was like, oh, it's going to say my name, and I'm going to walk up. Yeah. No one paid attention. No one gives a shit. <laughs> no one cared. And I was like, damn, I thought I was being cool. <laughs> so that's so your first attempt at, like, you know, lo- roping them in, R- yep. they're just like, didn't nah, work. didn't hit and a miss, a yep. sling and a miss. But luckily, All right, strike one. Luckily, the intro yeah. um, before, because I started with Renegade. Mm. And it's just your new vehicle for a little. Yeah, my new vehicle. Yeah, uh, I it's just intro music for a minute. Mm-hmm. Um, so I took that time to be like, everyone, come close. He's mm-hmm. like, I just kept saying like, I want everyone to be feeling this. Yeah. Um, I want to like, give you a smooch. I want to give your hand a smooch. At, at first, my group of people did. Yeah. Everyone else stayed put. Of which course. I kind of figured, but yeah. I was like, you know, I'll start this song. I'll get into the next song. Mm-hmm. It'll get people into it, which it did. People started paying attention about the second one. Right. What was the second song? After Renegade, I went with Preach, my mm. new one. Gotcha. Um, people got it because I was like, everyone hands up. You know, mm-hmm. got to do that. Yeah. Um, That's it. People like being told what to do. That's, uh, that's as, it. From what I've been yeah. told, audience and yeah. like stage presence wise. That's the thing. It's just like, you got a $100 bill, put your hands up. Yeah. You got a $20. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love that song. So, um... I have a hundred dollar bill. That's, that's me. That's it's me. like, <laughs> I do. Yes. <laughs> um, I, it, like you want to do that, mm-hmm. but you feel awkward just doing it. Mm-hmm. Whereas like if the performer tells you to, and everyone's like, Oh, we all, we all do it. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It makes it go better. hundred percent. Um, so I got a couple more people after preach. I went into, uh, my other new one different. Mm, um, that's the one you may have an eye on yes for certain situations yeah that could right. be recorded could be and or maybe yeah. who knows 
who knows what if you can figure out what i'm talking about then you can get there's your hint you got it but yeah if not are you even a fan are you yeah are you even different you wouldn't be different you're the same you'd be this if you didn't get that you're the same yeah (laughs) sorry sorry to say but uh so uh so how different go it actually it, went really so good. the new i was gonna ask so the new songs yeah i know you said lyric wise you're like all right i still gotta learn these Dude, so it's so tough yeah and then those that different specifically that one fucking that one it's like got a bop 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 flow i did mess up <laughs> but did you use backing tracks <laughs> yeah okay that's I fine i put it at the spot i thought i was gonna mess up at and it worked yeah <laughs> And after That's that, plan for failure, I got yeah. off and one of my friends was like, yeah. you know, she's like, I saw your mouth mess up, mm-hmm. but I heard it still going. And I was like, how's he doing that? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, totally. I'm also a ventriloquist. You're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like I've done this like five times yeah, and I don't want to do hitting the same problems. Yeah. Like, Every time. Yeah. No, it's it's the um, same. Yeah. And it's also too like you kind of have adrenaline once you're up there, and, I, yeah. and you're just vibing. So like, mm-hmm. it's hard to remember sometimes. Oh, 100%. You're just staring at everyone. Uh, so got through different. People loved it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then after different, I went into the classic John Wick. Got it. Oh. You got to do John. The Wick. single oh. was, it, was it probably October, November last year. It was year? October. It was in October. Yeah, that's a fucking long time. I know, right? Dude, time flies. Dude, time does. It's crazy. Time's just a concept. It's, the time is now. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, what is that? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> time is now. What, you my know. time is up. My time is now. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that. Dude, that's it. Next show. Honestly, do it. Uh, the fucking, you play John Cena, the audience. They'll go crazy. Who, who's, who's this guy? Yeah. What is he doing? Do you rap over that shit? Yeah. Oh my God. Everyone will freak I, out. I say and preach. Yeah. I say his name. Johnny John Cena. I said, I wish you wish that you could be me. They call me John Cena because they can't fucking see me. Motherfuckers can't see me. That's right. But you probably didn't say the bad word. I mean, I said bad word. Did you say the bad word? I said they, they call can't me John see Cena because they can't fucking see me. Oh. Yeah. Because I would have put motherfuckers. If you want my personal rhyming, can't see me. Yeah, yeah. These mother, all of these motherfuckers. Uh, these motherfuckers can't see me. This is this is how I would rhyme. Tune in for my my mixtape. Yeah, that will never come out. <laughs> it might come out. I don't know. I my. Uh, it could. I actually did make a beat for today, oh, so perfect. we have we have new beat. Can't wait. So that'll be fun, but um, so different. Yep, after, after different, different, went to John Wick. John Wick. You got to. So how was... I, I feel like the last time you performed, that w- did get a good reception. It did. Because I do... I like that song a lot. So John Wick it's was... A hot beat. At, once John Wick hit, that's when people loosened up, and I got... The time was now. There that's was, what, yep. Yeah. And <laughs> I even... I, I, like, crouched down when the song gets real serious towards yeah, the yeah. end, and I made everyone come in closer, and it was it was cool. Mm-hmm. Um, but then... Uh, after John Wick, I decided to do intro, which is my favorite song to perform. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, but intro is slower ish. Yeah, right. And I want to keep it a hot vibe. Mm-hmm. So I switched it up. I threw in the instrumental mm. of Brain Stew by Green Day. Ooh. I, I turned up the BPM a little bit yeah, to yeah. fit intro a little more. That's kind of crazy, too, that like. Yeah, even with because like Green Day is generally fast. Yeah, so it had to that turn that up. That's slow. Though. Yeah, well, I mean that song. Yeah, yeah. Do you, you want to give the audience like Dana, a little? Uh, Dana, 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 Dana. Yeah, it's basically. <laughs> I can't sing like him. On my own, here we go. Yeah, you Something got like it. That. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Billy yeah. Joe. Billy Joe. Yeah. If you'd like to be on the podcast, feel free, Billy oh, Joe. Come on. Please. We love you. Yeah. But that got good reception. And also, um, <laughs> I like full on rocked out. Like, yeah. no hat. My hair was going crazy. I was Ooh. just vibing to that one. Yeah. And it was so fun. Yeah. That yeah, one yeah. was for me, everybody. Right. <laughs> I did that for me. Um, you may have been there. You may have gotten something out of it, but it yeah. wasn't for you. Yeah. That was for that me. That was for me. That was, well, um, who's for him? For but. Him. I switched up Kia Soul. Okay. I, I did Kia Soul. But you put it the, in reverse? I, yeah. Is that what you're telling yeah. me? By the end of Kia Soul, though, I, I let the beat ride. 
that was uh, the speaker. Oh, cool. Jesus. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I let the beat ride. Yeah. And I talked to the audience. Mm. And I was like, when this beat drops, everybody, y'all got to go fucking crazy. <laughs> and it dropped. And some people went crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not enough people. <laughs> <laughs> so I did it again. Oh, so you did <laughs> And they still didn't go crazy. Oh, my God. And then I said, listen, in this song, I say I have a gecko. Yeah. I was like, my gecko just died the other day. <laughs> so for my gecko, Jacrispy, R.I.P. Jacrispy, we love you. <laughs> I said, y'all kind of rock the fuck out to this. Y'all better stand the fuck up yeah. for Crispy, I yeah. swear to God. I swear to God. You, you motherfuckers. Luckily, I got... More people to do yeah. it. Yeah, you played the guilt card. Yeah, you got yeah. that. They were like, "Oh yeah. shit, I feel bad." <laughs> fucking kid, the fuck out. This kid. All right, I guess we're doing. Guess we gotta fucking do something. I literally forgot his name already. It's been three seconds. Skip, Skippy, Skippy, Ja Crispy, Ja Crispy. See what the fuck is wrong with me, dude? I think I have <laughs> yep. problems. Like that's that was bad. I physically like felt that like idea or that name leave my brain. I don't know even how that happened. Sorry, sorry. But all right. So R.I.P. G. Crispy. Yep. So after the uh, that was, would that still be intro? Like, would that because do you have multiple verses on it? Or was that like intro? You tried to get him hyped and then the next song came on. The next song came on. And that was the that G. Was G. Crispy. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. See, my fucking brain. Yeah, Jesus Christ, that. dude. I don't know what the hell's <laughs> going on. Um, but yeah. So how did it wrap up? Was that nearing the Wrapped middle? Up, that was the end. That was the end. Oh, that was um, the end. OK. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm going to call DJ Nightlife for a second. Dude, DJ Nightlife. <laughs> the, call out. The, uh, Not a shout out. The, the different. <laughs> the song ended. Yeah. And he grabbed his mic and he was like, I just want to say that Mark the Aquarius's number one song is about a car that he doesn't even have anymore. And I was Man. like, DJ Nightlife. God damn it. Are DJ Nightlife, are you kidding me right are now? Are you kidding me, DJ the, Nightlife? The unprofessionalism. How dare of blowing up this man's spot in front of his audience like not even like you're featured and like he was it's like his show like it's your show yeah dude he's like this guy fucking i bet you guys didn't even know you didn't even know he doesn't even have that car anymore this son of a bitch all right and i had to say hey if y'all paid attention in the beginning yeah my first song was renegade that's what i have now yeah (laughs) motherfuckers nah, it was cool and that's though. the thing it's like okay if, even if you it isn't your car like you owned the car at one point i definitely owned it and you made a music video i did with the car with the car so it is forever immortalized in your possession exactly. and in your image exactly so i think you'll always have a kia soul right in here exactly that's that's the soul your fucking kia soul god damn it dj night like you don't even know this, this even is a know. metaphorical layered yeah. situation and what in preach i say kia because i got soul yeah that's just my soul is kia your soul you better get some sort of sponsorship from that because like i would not want my soul to be kia personally i don't mind i got the soul of a hamster i got the soul of a breakdancing hamster <laughs> i want the soul of ikea ikea it's like just very it's like just made quality enough yeah that's how good my soul is it's that's like just good enough so we also have swedish meatballs we also, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> my soul sells fucking meatballs meatballs uh and the swedish kind yeah specifically yeah we don't sell italian meatballs like the fish like the fish it's swedish yeah oh right yeah you got uh, it yeah, okay <laughs> Man, I get I haven't eaten a lot today. I think that might be it. I just I my food at all. I, no, I ate one piece of deli meat. One piece of deli meat, like a slice. Yep. Like that's with, it. Like you went up to like the lady at the deli counter and you're like, hey, can I try a little bologna, please? No. Nope. And then she's like, <laughs> sure. Just one second. Is this thick enough? Is this thinner or thicker? And then, pretty close. and then you're like, uh, no, nah, that's fine. Cause you're like, I don't want to make her do it again. Yeah, I mean, right. I want it thinner, but it's fine. like, but it's I'll fine, eat it. Yeah. 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 I'm so. going to be more full. <laughs> Sounds nah, it was in my fridge. Like, okay. It was in your fridge. Yeah. Full well, like pound of meat. A pound of meat. And I just took one off. That was, don't it. ever make that noise. It's it ever was accurate, wasn't it? It sounded exactly like what it should have yeah. been, but I don't like it. It's too accurate. It's not a good sound. That was a bad sound. <laughs> 
Uh, but I do want to go over as well. Okay. So personally, I was at a show yeah. on Thursday. Gotcha. Featuring. Oh yeah. Passed out. Passed out. The guys that I mentioned on last podcast, mm-hmm. and I will probably mention again going forward. Almost probably every podcast. I just hang out with them They're a lot. Great. So yeah, you're gonna you know you get the Joe Rossetti, you get oh, the I Andy, know. all of, all the oh. guys. Oh yeah. Um, and then they performed at. Uh, where the wherever the shit that was Nietzsche's Nietzsche's they yeah. performed at Nietzsche's with Comfy was there. Um, I'll bring uh, I'll get the actual like bill. What was your Thursday like? <laughs> what did uh, you do on Thursday? I worked all day on Thursday. All day. Which what about the great. night? Uh, I worked until eight or nine, mm. and then I went upstairs, and I basically worked more <laughs> because I I was drawing all night. Oh right. Yeah. So work wise, it was a it was a tattoo day. You were doing tattooing, tattooing, tattoos, tattooing. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. All right, I think I found it. Cool. That was a cool filler conversation. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. So we got comfy. Comfy. We I followed you guys on Instagram and talked to you. They're selling an N64. I don't know for how much, but I want it. Speaking of which, N64 music, oh, love it. shit, man. We're going to get some so wrecks. Good. Yeah. But uh, Takanobu, they were great. They played like this cello stuff. Like they, one had a cello, the guy had a cello, and the girl had a uh, violin. And it was like a nice back That's and forth. Cool. Dude, it was wild. They had like loop pedals. I might put it in the video because I took a video, but I don't want to like get copyrighted or whatever right, because right. they're good and stuff and like yeah. known. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I know about them. At least now I do. But they were great. And then I think there was one other band that I didn't see on the, the flyer. But sorry, you, you could, you're you invited on the podcast, even though I don't know who you are. Cool. But uh, we'd love to have you. Yeah. So that was great. That was a good time. Um, I only stayed out for a little bit. I mean, I'd, I get sleepy, man. Yeah. How do you? Me too. Are you in? Yeah. Energy wise performing. I, how do I, you? <sighs> How has that been for you? I every I'm not lying. Every performance date, yeah, I wake up, yeah, I do something for the afternoon, and then around three o'clock, uh-huh. I take a nap. Good until like five, <laughs> five thirty sometimes. And you're like, it's time to go, and then I wake up and I go, oh shit. <laughs> oh, so it's a this was not a planned nap. Yes and no. It was it's, a, that's a planned, length of it. The length, but of it the was length not is never planned. Yeah. And I wake up, I'm like, up, oh, whoop. Yeah. And I get up, I go, mm-hmm. I get there. Right. I perform. Mm-hmm. It's hot and sweaty up there for anyone who's wondering. So hot, so sweaty. And by the time I'm done, mm-hmm. I'm tired, but I'm also hungry. Mm. So after every performance, I always go to gym steakout after. Gym steakout. Get myself a gym's blue. The classic. No tomato, no onion. Good. Smart. Get a side of fries with that. Side of fries. And a nice regular size Loganberry. Oh, yeah. You're a Loganberry? I love Loganberry. I just, I don't know, man. I like Loganberry. I'm a fan of like what they're going for. Uh-huh. I just feel like it's a bit much sometimes. I didn't understand Where that. I'm like, I just give me a water. Can yeah. I have, hey, you know. I understand. And it's not yeah. like I'm always drinking Loganberry. That right. would be too much. No, yeah. That's, yeah. But, but specifically. Going to gyms. Well, paired with a hot day. sub too. Like the nice, nice. the cool. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get you. We yeah. also went to gyms right before uh, the passed out show. Oh, that was yeah, at see? like seven or so. Yeah. Gyms is very like, let's just go get food. Yeah, and it's just like let's go to gyms. Yeah, it just seems like that's the place to go. It really is because that's it just with works. I- Ivy the Ivy guys and stuff. They, they would always yep. yeah we're congregate and there. And it's funny. So and the rest of Buffalo, but for, yeah, 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 literally. <laughs> um, for the first time ever. Yeah, my very own brother came to my show what <laughs> shout out josh shout out helping your family yeah. <laughs> supporting <laughs> uh but it was funny because before he got there they um ended up <laughs> sorry every half of my people were like oh my god your brother's coming mm-hmm. and they were like i've never met him mm. and then the other half of my people were like you have a brother? Yeah, right. And I was like, yeah, I do. Yeah. And uh, he showed up and he, he fit right in. It was really good. Nice. And he ended up coming to gyms with us after with his friend. Awesome. Um, Does he live around here? Or is it? He's in the like Youngstown area. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So there's a, it's a bit of a. It's kind know. of a drive. Mm-hmm. So I understand. Um, 
But uh, you get a pass. He he definitely uh, enjoyed it, mm-hmm. and uh, he after it was talking to me about. Um, he was like, "I gotta get back into writing music." Mm-hmm. But he writes like very indie style mm. music. Yeah, uh, I just got into Radiohead today. Oh, I literally yeah, just right. I mean, I like Radiohead. Like, yeah. I've heard some songs that Me are too, good, but, but I've like, never really fully listened. Yeah, just like jumping into an album. Like, yeah. it's it's. Bit, I don't want to say it's scary mm-hmm. to jump into like Radiohead or like mm-hmm. artsy music, mm-hmm. but it kind of is. Where I'm like, I'm gonna have to sit through some like clangs and bangs and yeah, ding, 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 yeah. for like two minutes, and then it just like bang, bang, and then it's like a great song. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, but the yeah, the the 45 seconds is weird, but that like last part yeah. when it and it goes, yeah, yeah it's it goes the fucking really song. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, and it's I feel like that happens a lot. It's with, like, like Tool for me. That's yeah. See, I I've never jumped into Tool. So they're great, but yeah. their songs are all like ten minutes long, right? And it's a ton of experimental stuff. Yeah, uh, very technical. A lot I've of heard with uh, like African instruments and stuff like that. Right. Which it, it's weird because you think like African instruments with yeah. like metalish rock. Mm-hmm. Like how does that work? Right. And uh, they make it work so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's amazing. I've heard like the like it's like very funky. It's got like a funky groovy, like kind of funky stuff sort yeah. of style. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's well, I, like with Tool and like a lot of bands that have like the they have like a literal cult following. Like yeah. that's as far as like oh yeah, um, Tool definitely does. What's it called like Fish and like yep. all those bands where it's like that's and that's the thing like where I was talking about with like identity and stuff where it's like I make this one band like this is all that I am. Yeah, and it's like all right, that's a little bit. That's a, that's much. It's yeah. a little much, but. Yeah. Yeah, with but with Tool and stuff and like Radiohead, they kind of have that like same like their fans aren't necessarily like people I would be friends with all the time, in you know in the nicest of ways. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know that's it's just how it is because they I feel like they put the like thought into the work, right? And it is like still somewhat uh, commercially successful. Yeah. So for sure. Yeah. It's it. I what understand. is um? Did you have like? With like the Radiohead stuff, like did you have any bands that like you kind of like, but you never like listen to them? You know what I'm saying? Oof. Or like certain artists, like a like I feel like it happens a lot with like features, yeah, and rap, um, where you're just like I like the, I like whenever he's on stuff, yeah, but like I've never played one of his songs, yeah, and that's I, if you want an example, JID has J-I-D, a lot yeah. of that with me. Like yeah. I I've played his albums sometimes, but I just yeah. never like. Go back. Um, Something like that. Everything that Earth Gang has featured on, mm-hmm. I've loved. Yeah. But I've never followed this to an Earth Gang out. Yeah. Um, That's kind of crazy. I know. Yeah. It just feels weird because you're like, I like, I know I like them. Right? But That's just, the thing. I, I know I would love it. Yeah. So when do you, so putting songs on in the car. Yeah. How do you, what's your process like with that? I feel like that's like a, a good. <laughs> Dude, I. I have to be listening to the right song at all times. Yeah, right. That's kind of, dude. If it and doesn't like hit the feel little spot, like, why are we for real? This is a waste of time. What and are we doing? My problem is, like, sometimes I'll just think of a song and be like, yeah. "Oh yeah, that song," and I'll go and find it real quick, mm-hmm. and I'll just hit like so that it pops up so I can listen later to it. Mm-hmm. Then I forget to like delete them sometimes when I actually don't care for oh, them. Oh really? And there'll be so many times. Like, I'll just be in the car, and I'll just keep pressing next and i'm like why do i have this saved why do i have this right right why do i have this saved but you don't unsave it like that's i started to okay i've started to read them out a bit because it's become a problem yeah (laughs) so it's yeah definitely i i completely get that i was like i don't know why i have so many kesha songs Mm -hmm. on (laughs) my saved i i don't ever listen are you a cd man have you been yeah um do you have a book of course yeah do you still have uh, your CDs and everything? They're at my mom's house for sure. That's what, yeah, yeah. makes sense. Because yeah. in... Because uh, now... Sorry. Go for it. No, you go. Like my my, my car, my Jeep Renegade, <laughs> not my Kia Soul, uh, does not <laughs> have a CD liar. player. <laughs> yeah. So like, if anything, I just keep them at home and, uh-huh. you know, but... What an era though, you know what I mean? Like I even know. the like A-track, like, uh, or not About A-track, it. cassette yeah. with the, the aux cord yeah. cassette. Like that was a fucking time of everyone's lives where they just like went through that at least like our generation i definitely my first yeah. car only had a tape player so i had mm-hmm. the tape with the aux cord what's the first car uh, 96 buick century was the color it was burgundy of course it was yeah 
<laughs> Those cars only came in burgundy and in beige. Burg- yeah. <laughs> Those are the two colors. And her name was Penny. And her name was okay. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah. Where did so where'd you get it? Where was your Um I feel like music is tied a lot to cars. Yeah. So that's talking yeah, yeah, about yeah. this makes sense. So my mom's that's how ex boyfriend's brother Ooh. owns a car shop. Okay. And he got the car for me. Yeah. I paid three hundred dollars for it. Damn. Did not last too long because it's a three hundred dollar car. Yeah, that's like you you could buy uh what's it called the the Tonka cars. You know what I'm saying? Like the green, not the green oh, machine. Hess. What is it? Hess trucks. Hess. Is that what we're talking about? The the when you're a child and there's like that electric like oh. Jeep thing. Oh yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like those are like three hundred dollars. Yeah. I yeah. feel like you could you know. I could. Yep. <laughs> this was a full car. <laughs> And apparently, you just drive up this. From what cool. I'm told, because I never saw it. Yeah. But your steering wheel, you know how like straight it phases the right way. Mm-hmm. For me to go straight, the steering wheel was this way. Oh no, that would I would kill someone. So there's no way I could do that. That's how I I would go straight. Was that it was like that. And Not like that. <laughs> people would tell me that if they were driving behind me, that. My wheels were straight, yeah, but the frame of the car looked like it was always turning as it was going straight. No, like, really, I never noticed that. That's a am- and th- th- you're you're telling me that this car only lasted a few years. Yeah, That's crazy. Ca- but years wasn't a full year. It was wasn't a full. Year. Okay, gotcha. No. <laughs> <laughs> so for the limited run, yeah, Penny, you know, had a had a great time. Yeah, give me your next car. Uh, we're gonna go. We, you want to go through cars? I feel like this is a good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then like the music. So give me your music from Penny. What would you, what did oh. you listen to? Okay, hear me out. Yeah, actually, uh, no, I'm not. One gonna. of my cousins <laughs> gave me a uh, subwoofer set. A subwoofer? <laughs> that was the shit. And I put it in Penny. Yeah. It shook the fucking rust off of that car. Oh, of course. And uh, at that time, I was really big into like. EDM, like mm. Knife Party and Skrillex and stuff like yeah. that. Oh, dude, Knife Party. Oh dude, my Knife God. Party was so good. I, keep, I forgot about Knife Party. So, like, my whole car was just like, <laughs> like, vibrating crazy. Fucking, uh, probably RL Grime and shit. Yeah. Like, Space Nectar. Yep. On that shit. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Zomboy. Zomboy. Zomboy is great. Yeah. Dude, there's it. The more that we go through our old music, it makes sense. It does. Why we right? like <laughs> yeah. similar attitudes For real. and everything. Um, <laughs> like, oh, would you like? I like that that thing. <laughs> but after that, uh, I had a green Ford Taurus. Mm. Everyone's got a Ford. A Ninety nine green Ford Taurus. Ooh, okay. Um, Was it like? Did it run longer than under a year? <laughs> No, uh, of course. That one I traded in Penny mm. to my other uncle who owned another shop. Mm-hmm. Uh, on classic. the way to trade Penny in, the axle mm. broke mm. and snapped the brake line. Mm. And uh, for anyone who doesn't know this, a '96 Buick Century does not have an emergency brake. Whoa! So I was headed right for Military Road. Oh, for no. anyone who's not from around here, yeah. Military Road is very busy. You on the boulevard going towards Military? I was on or my what? mom's street going towards okay. Military. Okay, so it was, yeah, at least there was a... So I was, yeah. I'm headed towards where uh, Viola's and Wegmans is. Yes. And I just don't necessarily want to give your mom's address out. No, yeah. So, no. <laughs> yeah. In that, somewhere in there. Somewhere around there. <laughs> and Don't start knocking on doors, everybody. My, my grandma was in front of me, oh. and she said... Yeah, you follow behind me. If anything yeah. happens, just honk your horn. And, of course, it broke, and I <laughs> had it right for the back of her car, and I was like, I don't know what to do. So I turned real quick, and I hopped up on a ledge. Oh, no. Uh, towards Wegmans. Yeah. And the ledge was enough to stop the car. Oh, my God. And so I stopped in the grass, and I was right next to my grandma, and I'm honking the horn. Yeah. And she's not looking at me. Man, and grandma. she just drove away. And what are you, like, grandma? All right, she'll find me eventually. <laughs> So we had a tow that truck bring so it in. That is so funny, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> She's just like, honk if you need anything. Yeah. And then just... Did not bait Never. <laughs> never bait it A whole car wreck happens yeah. behind her. She's like... Literally. Let me know. Yeah, let me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Waiting. Nor did she... She didn't even look at her... Man, rear he's mirror fine. See, it's weird. I'm not behind her Yeah, anymore. right. I'm next to her. <laughs> and uh, so... Grandma! I was on my way to do that. I traded it in. Yeah. So you did... You got it from that spot, like... Towed we there got towed to, the, to the car place, and they were like, "How much do you want for it?" <laughs> he traded me a car, yeah, 
that was worth six hundred dollars to him. That's not, you know. So I paid another three hundred dollars, mm-hmm. uh, and traded my car to him, <laughs> which I'm guessing he junked. Yeah. Oh, I, immediately. I would, oh, within the hour. Oh, I'm yeah. Sure. Yeah. And uh, he came by. Green someone came by clothes. with a uh, a broom and dust a broom band, and dust and band. they they wiped it away. <laughs> Uh, Green Four Taurus, yeah, named Clint. Clint, like Eastwood or what? Uh, just Clint Taurus. Clint's funny to me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, Clint Taurus. Yeah, sounds like something else. I I know what you're saying. <laughs> Stretch, but g- g- continue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing, though. Thank you, thank I do you. like that. I, so around that time, I, I like it in the way that I don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. exactly. And around that time, I definitely like. I was back to the mm-hmm. punk rock stuff. Right, I, it was all about that. Still had the subwoofers in there. Was this mid high school? Yeah, at this point. Okay, this was like because freshman was Penny, freshman sophomore probably, and then sophomore. I didn't have a sophomore. freshman year. Okay, so right. Sophomore was Penny, and then. Uh, junior and senior year were no I'm sorry I mm. didn't have one sophomore year mm. junior year I got Penny mm-hmm. and then it didn't last all of junior year <laughs> and then, what, what time of year like did you get it before the school started yeah okay yeah and it lasted up until school ended that's not hey so it wasn't too bad got um, the job done then I got <laughs> yeah actually no it lasted till school ended and that then, is what you just said so yeah. You can't say actually no, but it's okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, wait. It did. It was after school. Ended. Oh, no, no, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was after school. You know what? Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure it was after school ended. I'm going after. I'm going. I think so. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. Continue. So then I get Clint. Uh, summer. Yeah, we're not going to go past. <laughs> yeah. I get Clint during. You get Clint in the summer. I get Clint in the summer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Go throughout senior year. Yeah. Uh, after senior year is over, mm-hmm. I start my delivery job mm. from Ruckless Pizza. So you need a car for that. And the dude that I got Clint from said, this car is not going to last throughout that. Mm-hmm. He's like, I got a better car for you. Yeah. And he shows me another Buick <laughs> around the same age as Clint. Mm. And I sit in it. The mirror... Is taped on with duct tape. Mm-hmm. I didn't even turn on. I didn't want to. I said, why in the fuck would I take this car right now? And you tell me it's better than the one that's fully put together? <laughs> the duct tape one. Now, you, now, Mark, I got just the thing for you. We got, we got something back <laughs> here. <laughs> Mark, you know what? We got a lot of cars here, but you you look like a duct tape, like man. Duct tape. You got a guy to You've driven a Buick before, right? Yeah. You've been in the Buick. You had a Buick. You know, the, you know the ride. It's smooth. It's smooth like butter, man. You know what would be better on butter? Duct tape. Duct tape. That duct tape and butter. He like said, go. This duct tape's going to get you through that delivery process. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm not fucking the yeah. guy, the car man. So that's when I decided <laughs> I'm going to lease a car. <laughs> and I leased my first car. That seems fair. But, so, okay, so your credit was good at that time? You had to, you know. Yeah, at the time it was. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Uh, I right got after that, pretty quick. That yeah. yeah, um, yeah. I did the same thing with my car. I had a, a loan. We can get into it in my. This is yeah. we're on you still. Yeah. But okay. So what did you lease? 2012 Chevy Cruze. And how was that? What was your experience, music wise? Oh. We have to frame this with music. That's about <laughs> when the hip hop shit started. Uh, okay. So Chevy Cruze. So you were Chevy cruising. Cruise, I was cruising with the hip hop. Hell yeah. Windows down. Hit him with the yeah. Kanye West. Mm-hmm. The Kid um, Cuddies. Also, I'm sure. I was really big into Imagine Dragons at that time. Oh, right, 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 right. I think everyone was. I honestly, I really liked Radioactive. That was that when was it the came out. And then that. And But I also really liked Demons. I thought Demons was a great song that no one really talked about. Yeah. Because, you know, I had to I had to be. You had to be there. If, if I was listening to a, a popular artist, yeah. I had to like the song that people you didn't like. Yeah, exactly. So that's Me pretty. Too. That's kind of how it went. Yeah. I wore Ray Bans in school. So, so I did I. like thick wire, thick Ray Bans. Yeah, so did I. That were. Yeah. We're those kids. Yeah. We had the. <laughs> 
we're hip we see we're that's cooler the thing. than everyone i never really identified with like the hipster thing me either because like i was aware enough that i was like well those guys actually do suck yeah but like i just this is what works on my face i think yep that's, and i'm just that's like how i was too yeah like i think <laughs> it was my I just think I don't look terrible I right had them That's, yeah and I was like those are cool let me try them on I mm-hmm. tried them on I said wow these work yeah. on me and you wore the 3D the real D 3D glasses oh with the God. lenses popped out <laughs> that was the worst <laughs> okay so Imagine Dragons yeah you got Kid, Kid Cut or not Kid, Kid Cudi Cudi. yeah yep. Kid Cudi yep I just put that in everyone's thing because I assumed everyone listened everyone to Kid does. Cudi yeah uh, Kanye yeah you know those. you have um, what's it called oh Jesus uh, I, Mac Miller, I'd assume, like that sort of thing. Yeah, and uh, cause like, when did you start getting more like '90s stuff? Cause I feel like with with me personally, like I when I found like Wu Tang and like yeah. Dr. Dre yeah, yeah. and all that shit. Yeah, it was definitely like, oh no, I like this rap. Yeah, like did like that Kanye West is great, Kid Cudi's yeah. great, but like I'll throw this shit out. Yeah, like, this. that wasn't until after I graduated. For okay, sure. yeah. Um. Was and still Chevy I'd Cruise say, or was this Kia Soul? So I was in the Chevy Cruise. I wasn't in the 90s hip hop yet. Mm, okay. Um, my next car was a 2016 Jeep Compass. Mm, okay. And I'd say by the towards the end of having that, mm-hmm. my third year in, that's mm-hmm. when I got into yeah. the 90s hip hop. They called the like, tribe. Oh, sh- yeah. And everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, De La Soul. So, I, mean, I don't know if you listen to De La Soul. They're, a good. little. Yeah. I mean, I was always into Eminem's 90s stuff. Right. Yeah. But that was just me being an Eminem fan. Mm-hmm. Um, dude, Busta Rhymes. I fucking love dude, Busta Rhymes. So good. Pre- uh, break Your Neck. Not Break Your Neck. The fucking, the one, the music video. Give me some more. The Give Me Some More music video. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. If you have not seen that music video, you need to do Amazing. drugs and then watch the video. <laughs> I like that. Because it's like the, the hand in hand. Yeah. Like it's, oh, my God. The colors, the fish eye shit. Did you bust a love that bus a bus? Bus you bus. Me? Fuck yeah. He was on Mass Singer. I called him out first. He was episode. really? I said that's Buster Rhymes. That's Buster Rhymes. hundred yeah. percent. Dude. And he was voted out first and it was him. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to get into the Mass Singer, but like to be voted off, are you just like not good at singing? Or is it just people know who you are? No, it's like the person that sang the worst out of everyone. Oh, okay. So they just yeah. yeah, and they're like, humiliate that guy. Yeah, literally. Yeah. You're a famous performer yeah. and you got voted out for being the worst mm-hmm. that sucks now let's see who we're laughing at i mean ha ha it's ha. terry cruz literally does he wait is he the host who's the host ken jong no uh nick cannon <laughs> yeah. <Gross. laughs> yeah ken jong is a judge on it okay yeah so i think he did Robin um Vick. the other one. Oh, he hosted that yeah. other oh the other same show basically the exact same show but not there's just people and yeah. they're like are they singing or are they not right, right, right. the lip sync i can maybe? hear a voice is that that's what it's called oh like the show is the i can hear a voice i can hear a voice oh i thought you could hear a voice in the room no and i was like okay that's scary so okay but jeep compass jeep compass that's when i got into the 90s 90s hip hop what was your like cuz you you listen to like synthy stuff like all that sort of music now too, like that cowboy, that one cowboy song. Oh, hey, that cowgirl. You sent me that, hey, got yeah. cowgirl. Yeah, and yeah. it's like, so where did that come in? Was that like post that '90s was, rap? Yeah, that was just after the '90s. Okay, rap that's stuff. kind of what it. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, once I started to get into uh, barbering, mm. I was trying to find music because, so we had. Uh, we had speakers at the barbershop that I used to work at mm-hmm. um, that would play a radio station and worked with a lot of old women there. <laughs> and they were very picky mm-hmm. about it. And it had to be... Just the, Whitney Houston. E- Only basically. Whitney Houston. <laughs> and God, I love Whitney Houston, but yeah. not on repeat all yeah, day. Yeah, right, right, right. So... Um, How to get me to not like Whiskey, Whitney Houston. Yeah. Put me in literally. that scenario. And that barbershop is a very old-fashioned barbershop where we had our own, like... Our, Somebody our, to love? Our <laughs> own... Uh, <laughs> where our chairs were, we were all separated by walls. Like, we had our own rooms, almost. Yeah. Um, which now, it's all basically an open floor plan. Mm, right. 
So I could get away with bringing a little speaker, right? And I kind of play my stuff. So it was more cubically. Yes. And it was like you yes. just kind of had your space. And when I had my speaker yeah. and I was playing like my hip hop mm-hmm. and stuff that I listen to, the amount of times they come in and be like, you know, that said, you know, GD took yeah. the Lord's name in vain, and I'd be like, huh, okay. So that's when I was like, <laughs> you should hear this other stuff. Yeah, you should hear this <laughs> other one. You should hear one about Eminem killing his ex. Yeah, you should. Crazy. He's really good. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's like really talented but so. he, uh, I love that guy so that's when I started to get into like okay I gotta find something that doesn't have that and isn't annoying to them mm-hmm. and that's when I hit that alternative synth mm. style that right. no one complained about yeah right thank god yeah well and that's it I, if you think about it, like Imagine Dragons though like they were kind of like they had that alternative yeah. like it's almost, it's like indie it's like indie rock, but it's not indie rock. It's close. Yeah. It's like, um, I don't know. Well, somewhere between like an indie rock and like the like I'm, Fall Out Boy. I'm calling it a stadium indie rock. Yeah, state stadium indie. Yeah. yeah, dude, that's fucking. Yeah, that's nuts. Well, yeah, that's okay. Stadium too. They are songs that like they are meant to be performed. Yeah, like when you oh, hear them, 100%. they're like, oh, this would be like crazy live, yeah. like that sort of thing. Yeah, I get that for sure. Definitely. And then like playing that at a barbershop. Is like that's fucking. Let's get the vibes. That up. works too. Vibes. Yeah. Right, yeah. 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 So, do you want me to go through my go through your cards? Yeah. Cars. Okay. It's because Jeep Compass. So is that Kia Soul? After Jeep here? Compass was Kia Soul, then Jeep Renegade. Jeep Renegade. Okay. But like, and that's you know, that's all. It's stuff marked that right now. now. We've already. Yeah. We'll go through that. Yeah. Yeah. We know that already. If you like, watch the uh, Patreon episode where we recommend music to each other. That's right. That's where you you'll find exactly that. what we're listening you to. You know exactly. 100 percent why is it not uh, who knows i might cut that out of my dot i don't fucking care god damn it this sounds good and that's all that matters that's what matters visually don't don't watch these episodes no. yet we'll get there yeah well, no actually you should never mind definitely watch them uh but me yes so personally i had uh so a lot of the time in my youth i would go out with my brother tyler and my cousin Corey to do you know, God knows what right. in in the night, in the yep. dead of the night. And then that would usually lead us to be driving around listening to um I think I think it was like the Kanye West like Kid Cudi stuff. Like I'm pretty sure it was that sort of um more rap specifically, but like yep. the mid to that oh no uh some system of down like all that. Oh, yeah. Like that sort of new metal stuff yeah. plus rap. Like, yeah. was, like, that early, like, going late night, going to get, you know, fucking yeah. Alton's on the... My band during that time? Yeah. Tenacious D. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, Tenacious D was... Well, in the movie, like, that was... Oh, they're perfect. Amazing. Perfect. Um, and that was in a 90s uh, Chevy Camaro that my brother had that was very small, and I was... I was young and smaller at the time, yeah. but it was definitely not like enough room for me to be comfortable. So I would just be crammed in the back. And then when I got my own car, that ended up being a um, nine, nine, 2003 Grand Am, a Pontiac oh. Grand Am. So for me, I got it from old people and it, you know, it had a lot of miles on it. Yep. So I called it the grandma. Because ah. when you switch Grand Am, the grandma, a and the M, yeah, grandma. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty clever. That is very clever. Had Good the job. tape deck. Had Perfect. the tape deck with the fucking aux player in Hell it. Oh yeah. Got uh, you know, that's that's when all the uh, the Odd Future came in. That's when the oh, Mac yeah. Miller. That's when you know I started getting into the scary rap and uh, other scary things. Scary stuff. Dude, if you listen to like Goblin and like Bastard, you're oh, like, yeah. this is. This is not. We should not have listened to <laughs> yeah, this like yeah. that or like it was a lot. That like, could have formed us into something else. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A bunch of fucking trauma. It's yeah. literal trauma. Oh yeah. Like I would sure. say, it's a tr- <laughs> at the core of bastard and goblin is trauma for sure. Yeah. There's no doubt. And honestly, I didn't all music and art work, but oh yeah, whatever. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, so that was a lot of a lot of odd future. I had my fucking iphone 6s plus with the gold front That's on what it I had. yeah are you kidding me this is with the gold front i had the gold front with the, oh my god what is how, did, how have we not started a podcast already it's taking this long 
It's like we have been, we have had such fucking, parallel lives. We really have. It's fucking nuts. They've gone. <laughs> and now we're here and we're both doing art stuff. We are. Look at us. Fucking, we look finally at us. did it. Look at us. Um, but yeah, so the Grand Am, that was uh, probably, I think I got that sophomore year. And then, you know, that was just a wreck. I did shit like i went places i shouldn't have gone i've done things i shouldn't have done in the car but at the same time it's like ah that was the time to do it you know yeah, what i mean right. like it's fucking getting getting wild with the boys you with know what i mean boys. with the yeah. boys um not so many girls that's that was later i mean even hmm, yeah. even, even later yeah even not later so many girls. um but, <laughs> <laughs> but yes so that you know me jack mark yeah. A bunch of guys. Not me, Zach. Mark. Different Mark. Different Mark. I've known like eight Marks throughout my life. Really? Like it's crazy. The amount. I've had a Mark in my life at all times. Wow. Which is pretty crazy That's to pretty me. pretty wild. And they like, sometimes they overlap, but sometimes it's just like, well, this is the one Mark I have. So it's. <laughs> you always got to have a Mark. You got to have at least one Mark in the yeah. room or in your life. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so then that got extremely old it went from being old to being extremely old and then that i was like scared to like to keep driving it it was at like one hundred seventy nine thousand miles jeez a pontiac grand am that was it's coming to an end like that was the, the, the should have been ended the the days of uh you know we're not worrying about your car it's yeah, longer right, long gone. longer yeah. it's like every day it's just like is today the day it's gonna happen. that's that's kind of yeah. what my thing was so in that you know fear and needing of vehicles you go and you uh get get a car and i wanted something reliable i wanted something that i wouldn't have to worry about a lot yeah and then you know how you went into leasing it i should have done that yeah because what i did is i took out a loan uh -huh. for a new car yeah and it was a 2016 uh well it was used but yeah. 2016 but it toyota camry it's fucking 30,000 miles. Honestly, for what it is, it's a solid car. Yeah. I think, you know, if you're just going from here Get to there, there. Yeah. And if you want to listen to music, like the sound system is fine. Like that's kind of what I have now. Yeah. I've literally owned two cars. Yeah. So this is why I was like a lot. I was like, he's, he's I, going. I have way too many cars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's, I honestly would like to have, you know, get more experiences like, you know, birth and death. It's fucking. There's a lot. All that shit. But yeah. You so and $300 then, for a car. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's. That's a, I really just didn't want to deal with what would have been a good story. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. Like that, I'm like that was a good story. I would, have, <laughs> I would have rather not dealt with it, but it's a great story. It is a good, yeah, it's a good story. So, I mean, that's the thing. And it, eventually we started a podcast. So the, the story. So this could. And happen. then now we're, yeah. So now we're here. Yeah. Um, now podcast is over. We're done. Yeah, right. We tell just, story. We just over. finished it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> but no, so I got this. Toyota Camry. That's what I have now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just the usual. Freaking everything I listen to now. Literally everything. Yeah. I, that's the thing is I can't... I can tell you what I don't listen to. Generally, I don't really listen to, like, hardcore stuff yep. or, like, punk stuff mm -hmm. that's, like, too much. Mm -hmm. Like, I like some energy, mm -hmm. but I don't necessarily need, you know, a wall of energy. Like, take some breaks. That's me. Yeah. Just make a... I agree. I like twangy guitars, yeah, so yeah. like there's no twang when you go, dun, 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 and I'm yeah, like, yeah. I, what, I can't. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. No, I know. But that's good. I definitely like it's it, with, of... with the car. It's it's like it's not you know the best sound system. Like it doesn't have woofers, but it it fucking gets the job. I still done. have those somewhere. Yeah. Are you gonna? Would you put it in your new? Could you put it in a lease car? Mm, you could, but you have to take it out. Oh yeah, and that's you might break something. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Because how are you into cars at all? Like, have you made cars? Have you done anything? Yeah. <laughs> You've had enough. Like, like, <laughs> no. Yeah, I, uh, a little bit. Do I? I mean, the tattoos. Oh, yeah. That's kinda... Actually, my mom's ex-husband. Uh, His brother's friend? No. That's okay. <laughs> that's her ex-boyfriend. All right. Her, and my mom got around. No, yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, shout out Mark's mom and all the exes. <laughs> Mark's mom is going to have a uh, Scott Pilgrim-esque movie at some For point. Real? Just <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's killing it. Her but she's going to be a way better character than Scott. Oh, yeah. But go ahead. Her ex-husband was a mechanic, and gotcha. he owned his own 
And it's actually crazy to me because I know for a fact, like, mm-hmm. if they stayed together, yeah. 100% that would have been my job. In the oh, end. really? Because he would have just gave me a job once I was old enough. Yeah. yeah and I would have yeah. just stuck with it. And you would, because did you, do you like that kind of stuff? Like, are you into, like, cars or? I do. Yeah. Like, I, aesthetically, I'm assuming? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'd like to one day own, like, an old-fashioned car mm-hmm. and, like, I'm a puzzle guy and I mm. can kind of look at it as like a puzzle. Like yep. this is broke. How do I fix it? hundred like, percent. You know, but as for like all that other stuff, I'm like, I don't know. Like, like you wouldn't want to like spend all day on, no. but you would have like, you know, that couple hours where you're like, it's I got a few hours. Let's spend a weekend. On let's it. try it. Yeah, yeah. A weekend, a weekend, dude, the dad, that's the dad that's move. That's a dad move. That's right full there. dad move. Yeah. It's just spending your weekends. Because you got work to do. On my car. Yeah. We're just going to keep it in the garage. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in the garage. Hey, hon, if you need me, I'll be uh, be in the shop. I'll be in the shop. In the shop, working on my uh, vehicle yeah. that I own and drive. Yeah. My baby. <laughs> my babe. My it's baby. My baby. This little, uh, this little light of mine. I got a little Hemi in I'm on Lady Shine. Anyone ever said that? A little Hemi? A little. What, no. are, you, what are you even saying? Isn't what is a Hemi? Hemi? Uh, type of engine for big trucks. Uh, she was talking to the wrong guy. I'm pretty sure it is. That's, I'm <laughs> probably wrong. Shout out I'm, Hemis. I don't think anyone's ever <laughs> said, I got a little Hemi in my truck. <laughs> a little Hemi. Well, because if, if you got a Hemi, you'd want it to be big. I think it's big. Yeah. yeah. Or do you you wouldn't tell people if it was small. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if it's like a pride thing at that point. Yeah. You know but <laughs> shout out Pride Month just passed it did my dog looking forward to the next one my dog's uh gonna be the pride dog in the awesome paws calendar oh it is i just you did you got the i just got the pictures done the other day nice man because yeah. did i help you with that with the facebook thing was that you did help where I, po- I posted did. yeah and Good i shit. Pick, they let me pick the month and i picked june because it's his birthday Hell and yeah. then it also just so happened to be pride month mm-hmm. and the theme was well, every month had a theme of colors. Right. And June was rainbow. And I was like, oh, that works. Cool. Right. Is your dog LGBTQ plus? Uh, yeah. What? He humps every animal <laughs> he can find. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad he's open. And, and if you just show him your pants, he'll lick them. He doesn't care <laughs> what true. gender you are. That's a good point. He'll lick I, yeah, your pants all, all day. Are all dogs LGBTQ I feel that? like they are. They could care less. <laughs> Dude, dog's like, I'll be fucking gay. I don't give a yeah. shit. I'll be fucking gay. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, who cares? Who cares? Whatever. There's no there's no dog Christianity yeah. telling me that this is like putting guilt in my heart. Fuck that. Nah. I don't give a shit. Never. That dog's cute. Okay. <laughs> I think we should wrap it up. Yeah. I feel like we've we've been talking for a long time. <laughs> um, so we got... You don't want to talk about gay dogs more? We, <laughs> <laughs> as much as I would love to talk about gay dogs... All right. Uh, we have we have to recommend music to each other too. We do and do that. So yeah. let's uh, close it out with a quick freestyle. I'll pull this up real fast, Shit. and this is gonna be uh, how we end it. We can talk about what we talked about in the episode. We can talk about you know I got it. Other stuff. Why don't you uh, tell the people what we have in store for them over the next month or so? So we're getting close. Over the next month or so, we're going to have guests on. Well, more guests. More guests. Because I did the one. Yeah. They but were more yeah. of a replacement host. You're right. This time, it'll be guests. Both of us. And both of us here. Yes. And who knows? Maybe sometimes one of us can't be here. We'll figure it out. Right. But guests. We got I uh, new music performances by me coming up pretty mm-hmm. soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can't really mm-hmm. talk about it yet, mm-hmm. but it's mm-hmm. happening. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? We got the Discord. We got Discord. Patreon. We got Patreon. We got, well, Patreon is, the Discord is on the Patreon. Yes. So if you want to, it is, uh, we get, I'll, I'll tell everyone now because I actually made it. Yeah. Uh, better at Two ninety nine a month. You could become a good guy and the, the guy is a general neutral term, gender yes. neutral. Uh, so for two ninety nine, you get behind the scenes. Do you know the stuff that we cut out of here that we don't want people to see? But if you're cool and give us money, then we'll show you. Um, we got what else? We got we got fucking uh, the rec center, yep. which is what we're gonna record right after this. Yep. So we're basically just playing music for each other. When we got a guest, we'll have them we'll bring have in them their musical yep. recommendations. Yep, and we'll all just vibe together on the pod. Loving it. Um, 
playing the songs as we listen to them, like through the headphones and stuff. Yeah. Uh, we will also be doing probably like a monthly live stream, either with a Q and A or, <laughs> or you know, just whatever we want to do. So yeah. just live stream in yeah. general, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. You could look. I probably put other stuff down. I there. might get naked. Mark might get naked so for two ninety nine. But that'll be on the OnlyFans, so you, that's also two ninety nine. Also two ninety nine. So OnlyFans. okay, but I'm so I'm ready with this freestyle. Hit me. So I will give you a beat, and you will have to rap over it. Okay. It's not gonna be good. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. so far uh. yeah okay i'm chilling with my dog he is kind of gay but that's all right i just tell him hey like it's okay to be what you want to be don't worry about people gonna cross the sea what does that mean i'll tell you now it is really clean motherfuckers gonna try to make fun of you all you gotta do is bless them when they at you yeah yeah it's, uh yeah. uh yeah. Got a gay dog in my house. Got a gay dog in my house. Got a gay dog in my house. Got a gay dog and he's not a mouse. He's a gay dog. Just a gay dog in my house. Living with me. Sleeping with me. But not sleeping with me. He sleeps with other guy dogs. Cause he's a dog who is gay. And he's pretty good at being gay. I've seen him for a while. Do that and he does pretty good at being gay and being a dog hey hey yeah. hey yeah. you got it hit it hit it one time all right okay yeah. get it uh 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 yeah uh at the dog park looking at a guy dog ooh shit Log. That's <laughs> what comes down. <laughs> Log, write that down. <laughs> Saw a guy, dog. Log. All right, now we're going back. Wait, 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 wait. That was good. That was good. That was so good. All right, keep it going. Uh, uh, yeah, get it. Yeah, I'll try to do yeah. that again. Yeah. Okay, go into the dog park. See a guy, dog. Oh, uh, gay. Oh. Uh. Log. That's what happens to my dog when he wants to put it in that other dog. Doesn't matter if it's a girl or a guy, he's really fly. He goes up to him and he says, Hi, my name is Ozzy. I like salami. And, uh. <laughs> I bet he likes fucking salami. I bet he does. Dog likes salami. Looking like pastrami. In a big house, call it. The dummy, I don't know. Yeah, that's almost a word. When you rap, just make up the words like that was a word, and now you know it. No, that was that's I mean, that's also a word, but that's your word now. Yeah, Jesus Christ, is this the gay dog freestyle? What is the gay dog freestyle? Dude, Dude, gay dog. And that's okay. And that is okay. That's a gr- I'm, I'm glad a, we did that one. I'm that glad. Was fun. That was a good <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it. Yeah, I thought that was good. Um, to an extent, yeah. as much as it could have been. But thank you, audience. Thanks We're on the wide. Me. So I will catch you on the next one. Can't wait. Hopefully Mark will be here. I'll be here. If not, who cares? I mean, I'm just kidding. No, he's... <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it. Bye. 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 <laughs> What the fuck did we just do? <laughs> you gay dog? You gay dog, top of the charts. Yeah.